Hi, today's guitar book review is on this one. It's called Solo Guitar Playing by Fred Node, or Frederick M. Node. Uh, I think he wrote a, a prior book to this just called Playing the Guitar, which apparently was, was successful, and I haven't ever seen that one. I'd like to get hold of a copy of that and, and have a look at that one. Never seen that. Um, but then he went on to write this one, and there's a Solo Guitar Playing 2 as well. And this is the second edition of this particular book. I think it was first published in 1968, and then this one, 76, something like that. Uh, I first came across this when I, I, had, I moved to a new teacher when I was 10, 11, 12, something like that. Uh, so this is early 80s, and I, um, or early to mid 80s, and, and I, I have had this new teacher who was great. Uh, and he recommended this book as soon as I started with him. I was doing classical guitar to begin with. That teacher actually got me onto electric guitar um, quite quickly as well. But before that happened, he said to get this. This is a really good one. Uh, if you're into playing classical guitar, I should point out this is a classical guitar book. It's not, not any other style. Then this book covers loads. It's just, it's a really good, um, Kind of course on, on its own you don't need anything else with this it's it's a brilliant book and i mean the, the teacher that recommended it to me was sort of a, a very good classical player and, and sort of highly respected musician and teacher and um, the fact that he recommended it, it it says quite a lot uh, so it goes right from the beginning now unlike a lot of these uh, these books that i've been looking at this one is starts you off as a complete beginner not knowing anything about playing guitar and it goes through very very carefully and methodically it goes through things like the playing position posture and all that sort of stuff which is important for classical playing uh, right hand techniques um, it's all in lessons I teach you to read music which is obviously an important part of this uh, and that these lessons, so lesson three is beginning to read music, um, it suggests at the beginning to pre be prepared to spend up to four weeks on each lesson. So there's a serious kind of amount of dedication and time you've got to put into this. I think some of these lessons for most people you probably wouldn't spend four weeks, but he's saying that be prepared that that might be something you have to do. And it just gradually goes through all these exercises um, and then on to some later on it goes on to some actual proper tunes um, and it's I can't fault it I mean I'm, I'm not an expert on classical playing I, I'm, I'm more sort of, uh, familiar with um, electric playing and, than I am classical but I've done quite a lot of it um, but it'd be interesting to know what what um, you know sort of expert classical players would think of this book I'd imagine they'd, they'd agree um, it, it's really good, it just covers everything. Um, and a, a funny thing to, sort of, um, to say about it, that I, thing that I like, is the size of it. And that probably seems like a strange thing to say, but whoever decided, the publisher probably, that, that this book should be this size, rather than like the standard kind of A4 size, I think that was a, a clever move. And I don't know why, this size is good, I can't really explain it, but it is. There's something really nice about this using this book because it's a bit smaller. I, that sounds ridiculous, but it, it is. And I'd be interested to know if anyone else has got this and thinks the same, because it just seems that more kind of somehow more approachable, which is bizarre, but it does because of that size of it. Um, it's, yeah, it's a bit smaller than A4, it's not tiny it's a little bit small so I really recommend this if you're if you want to play classical guitar if you're already a guitarist like an electric player maybe and you want to play classical guitar as well this would be a really good book and you probably skim through some of the things quicker than you would do if you had never played a guitar before um, or if you're someone that just wants to learn to play classical guitar and hasn't played guitar this book is perfect for that and I think it's written so that you can do it and use it in two ways. You can use it just as a way of teaching yourself to play, um, which is, has obviously got downsides to that. You, know, you might be doing something wrong and not realise it. Um, 
or you might want to ask questions about something and you can't just with a book. Uh, but it's also written so that you could go through this with a teacher and obviously that's why my teacher recommended it to me initially. Uh, so very good book, Solo Guitar Playing by Frederick M. Node. I haven't seen the, the second one, I don't think, anyway, I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, but I think it follows on from this one. So it's, uh, I don't think it's a different version of this book. I think it's the next stage on, so it gets more advanced. This one goes reasonably advanced, but not, not well, not particularly actually. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't go that advanced. It's, it's, I suppose it goes up to maybe grade four sort of level, possibly about that kind of standard, I would say. Yeah. So, and at the end there's um, some trio and quartet pieces, uh, which are quite nice if you're, if you're playing with other musicians, or if you, nowadays you can just record yourself or put, put play into a loop pedal, if you've got a, a mic or a, a plug in ball classical guitar, and then you can plug in and uh, record yourself or loop yourself and then play the other parts over the top. So yeah, I really recommend that one. Solo guitar playing for classical guitar. It's the best book that I've used or seen. Okay, thanks.